In this video, I will show you guys how to automate your Razor Pay payments and choose to do some kind of automation such as delivering an email, sharing on Twitter, or adding the transaction to a Google Sheets and doing a lot of other automation automated tasks. It's not just about sending emails automatically when a successful payment is captured, but it is a very powerful tool that will help you to automate your entire marketing leads automation and it's up to you whatever you would like to in this scenario and trust me you will love this tool it is also possible to identify the payments from different payment pages and uh, uniquely filter out tasks on what what you have to do on what pages first let's dive into the racer pay backend and click on the settings tab on the left and you will see a web hook tab here a webhook is basically a backend mechanism for altering the contents of a web page using a URL and the callback from the URL will be altering the contents on the web page. So we will use Integromat for altering our contents and I will discuss about Integromat later. For now click on the add new webhook and active events you can choose payment authorized and payment captured both are intents for identifying a successful payment and in the webhook url we need integromat for uh, adding the adding a webhook url here integromat is a very powerful automation tool as i discussed you can do a lot of automation using integromat and i'll create more videos on how to automate with twitter how to automate with facebook lead ads and other a lot of different kind of automations later you can subscribe my channel for those kind of different automated videos which will help you as an affiliate marketer or as a digital marketer uh, if you are new to integromat i would recommend joining from the uh, link on the description so you get a free membership even though it's it, you don't have to have a paid subscription for doing these things every month they give thousand operations for free and it's more than enough for most of you guys in case you need to uh, do a lot of other automations like your affiliate marketing campaigns or Facebook ad campaigns. I would strongly recommend you to check out their subscription plans. I am using the social media automation and different. You can see a lot of other automation things for my uh, campaigns and trust me, these are working well for me. And I will you can check out my other videos or subscribe me for different videos on how you can use Integromat for your day-to-day -day uses. So. Let's just start it. Click on create a new scenario and search for webhook. Click on webhook. Oh, sorry, webhook. Yeah, this one. Okay. Also, I need Gmail because what I'm trying to achieve is whenever a successful payment is authorized, I will send a file to the person who completed the payment if you want something else to do you can search you can see there are a lot of things that you can do here a lot of apps are here the possibility is infinite what what do you want to do? you can share on facebook or you can send messages on facebook for now we will just go with the gmail and webhook if you are selected click on continue Now this is a scenario and what you have to do is click on this uh, question mark and click webhook it will ask you to click create a custom webhook and this webhook will trigger when it receives data so click on it now this shows that this is an instant immediate scenario because whenever the web receives some data this scenario will run immediately do not change that just click on this now now it will ask you to create a webhook here. I have already created my webhook. If you are new, you can click on add here. You can name your webhook. And if you want to blacklist some IP address, mention that here and just save it. Since I have I already have my webhook, I will click on this and click OK. If you are clicking on new webhook, it will ask you to add a URL here. This is this will show the URL that you if, if you are clicking on new add it will give you a URL here just copy that URL 
and go back to the XRP dashboard and paste it here. This is your webhook URL. Since I already have my URL here, I am not changing anything. So I'll click on the URL. It's, as you can see, these are the active ones here. So I just saved the webhook here and that webhook URL here. So the first time you do it, this webhook wanted to identify what type of data is coming on callback. So I already determined what type of data structure is coming here. So I'm not redetermining this. So if you are doing it for the first time, it will ask, it will show something like waiting for the uh, callback to identify what type of data is coming. It is similar to an XML response on an API. It will have different parameters like whatever amount was paid, what uh, method was used, what was the email ID of the pay user, a lot of things, what time the payment was done. There are a lot of things which I will show you on the next step. So if you are doing for the first time, it will ask you to send a test data so that it can determine the type of data it is. So in that case, what you can do is just uh, copy one of your payment links and make a small transaction of one rupee or two rupees. <coughs> a test transaction of one or two rupees on your own payment link. So it will identify once a payment is authorized. Since you have those uh, things on your web, this web URL, you have saved it, and it will identify these events, right? These payment authorized and captured. So once you send a test payment, it will determine what type of data is coming here. I have already done that, and I'll click on OK. Now that I have my custom web hook ready, all I need to do is whenever the user completes a payment successfully and raise up, I want to drop an email to the user. And this time I want to identify my payment links uniquely and I want to send uh, emails according to the type of payment he completed, the type of payment page he completed. So I want to uniquely check what type of payment, what payment link was used by the user at this point. So I will use an router after this webhook and connect it to a router and then I will add gmail in case you want to use sendgrid it's totally fine instead of gmail just add sendgrid from add or mailchimp or whatever email service provider you use it's up to you i will go with gmail at the moment i'll select send mail because i want to send mail to the user i connect it to the router and let's say i have two payment links and this is for the payment link one and for the payment link two i will add the next gmail will connect it to the router as well let's say you have like 10 payment pages you can add 10 gmails here and now i have to check here i have to do a filter i only need to execute only one gmail out of all the gmails i connect to a router so click on settings set up a filter label it let's say it's payment one condition I can I can do condition statements on variables from payment so expand this payment and you will see a lot of variables that are coming from the webhook I will filter with the amount that user paid and I'll select the value amount if the amount is equal to or whatever condition you can you can see there are a lot of conditions I will just go with equal to if the payment amount is equal to let's say 600 you have mentioned the value in paisa here if if it's six rupees you have to mention like 600 if it's 600 rupees you have to mention like 6000 so it's not in rupees it's in paisa so i'll just mention 600 because uh, if my user paid six rupees i will execute this gmail that's done now i'll set up a filter here payment link to condition uh, the payment entity amount I will filter this also with the amount uh, user paid let's say 900 paisa that is 9 rupees I'll click ok if you if the value is 9 rupees if the payment is 9 rupees from webhook it will execute this gmail if the payment is from 6 rupees this will execute this gmail so the, you can play around this very fairly you know there are a lot of possibilities not just amount as you said as i said you know you can use other variables here many other variables are coming here so you can even filter out with the vpa or whatever mode of payment the user paid the 
entity the id the status invoice id a lot of other things are there we'll go with this one and now i have the payment filtered out all i need to do is drop an email when the user pay so i've connected my connection to gmail here and if you are new you can just click on add and name your connection and continue and connect it with gmail in case you have an you have facing any error in this connecting with gmail just search for uh, integram at help on connecting with gmail they will give a support page you will have to do something in your gmail backend to connect it with the integram at it's very easy now click on the two two column you will have to fill an email here it will be coming from the uh, webhook so click on payment entity and you will get the email id here this is the two email that you want to drop the email add the email if you want to add more recipients you can add more recipients as well and subject totally depends on you so just give thank you for your order and the content you can even customize the content with html tags and all i can address the user with name I have user, uh, I don't have user name, but I have what I have uh, email. I guess I have user email and the amount he paid. Also, it's possible to attach something if you want to share a file with user. You can attach that file here from some cloud or some Google Drive. In that case, you will have to if it, if your file is in Dropbox you will have to add the dropbox from this and other file service providers are also here if you have any file hosting cloud service you have to add that and get your file from that or if you want to let's say if you want to share a file from google drive to the user directly instead of this gmail you can you know just add google drive it's more convenient in case you are you know sharing files for a user so these are the functionalities available for file sharing get a share link it's very easy to play with this i guess now you know how to filter out a payment how to identify a payment uniquely with the payment amount and send an email to the user in the two column you have to add the payment entity you'll get the email id here just add that and that's it it's super easy i guess you got an idea on how to play around integram at not just gmail and google drive as i said play around this you have many other services twitter facebook github try to integrate with multiple services and make new experience for the user thank you for watching the video i hope it helped you to make your payment automation in Pay. If it helped you, please drop a like for the video and make sure to subscribe to see more automation videos. Thank you.